There are five important trick values that you need to know. That's what we call special angles. We have zero, we have 30, we have 45, we have 60, and we have 90. And this video is going to be focusing on how to remember them. The first way to remember special angles or try to help you figure out special angles is to remember the wheel. What in the world is the wheel? We're going to talk about it right now. One way to figure out special angles is by using the wheel. Now, the wheel that we have over here starts from zero and ends in 90. One thing you should also know about the wheel is that the radius is 2. So each and every one of this line has a radius of 2. How you remember the wheel is that the values increase as you go from 0 to 1, the x and the y. For each and every value of the wheel, the x value decreases, you can see you have root 4, root 3, root 2, root 1, and 0. While the y value would increase, you have for 0, root 1, root 2, root 3, and root 4. Now, if you get the values for each and every one, this here is the same thing as writing 2 and 0. This would be your x, that would be your y. This one here is the same thing as writing root 3 and 1. That's your x, that's your y. This can't be changed, it's still the same thing as that. Same as your x, same as your y. This one over here would be would be 1 and root 3. And finally, this last one over here is the same thing as 0 and 2. And don't forget that's your x and that's your y. Now, for you to get the special angles, so we said our special angles are 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So we would have to use the concept that sine is y over r, cos is x over r, tan is y over x. So if I want to figure out what sine 45 is, I just understand that sine 45 is y over r. So it would be root 2 over my r here, which is 2. And there you get it as root 2 over 2. If I need to find out what tan 30 is, tan 30 is y over x. I go to 30 over here, I look at my y here as 1, and my x is root 3. So the answer here would be 1 over root 3. Yeah, if you want to try one more example, let's say cos. We have cos 60. I go to the wheel. On the line 60, 60 is x over r. So I'm looking for x and I'm looking for r. For 60, the x is 1 and the r is 2. So that would be my answer. So for this here, is equals to 1 over 2. You can draw this wheel to figure out which angle that you need. That's it. So that was the wheel. Now I hope that is easy for you guys to remember. But if it isn't, there is another way to remember special angles. Now, to remember special angles, you need to know what the sine 0, cos 0, tan 0, and sine 90, cos 90, and tan 90 is. You need to know that, just memorize those values. Then, you now also need to memorize two triangles. And those two triangles is exactly what we're going to talk about right now. The other way to figure out special angles is by remembering two triangles. Now this triangle is this, is 90, that is 60, that is 30, and this triangle is root 2, that's 1, that's 1, that's 45 degrees, and that's also 45 degrees. Now you need to remember this triangle. And to get your 30, 45, and 60, you can use this triangle to figure it out. So if I want to figure out what sine 30 is, 
I understand from trig ratios that when you have a triangle, it is opposite over adjacent. I meant opposite over hypotenuse, not adjacent. Sorry about that. Trig ratios is the soccer 12. We talked about that in our previous class. So for sine, it is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case here, our opposite of 30 is 1. Our hypotenuse is 2. And that's how you remember sine 30. If you have something like this here, you want to figure out what tan 45 is, right? So to figure out tan 45, would say that tan is 12. So it is opposite over adjacent. So our opposite of 45 is 1 and our adjacent is also 1. So in that case, this would just be tan 45 is 1. So we try another one, we have cos 45, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So as you can see here, our adjacent for this triangle over here is 1 over root 2. And that will be your answer for cos 45. And this is another way you can remember special angles and use it in questions where you are expressly told you shouldn't use a calculator. I hope this helps. And that's it. So we've gotten special angles out of the way. It's a very important section. You hardly do get special angles on its own, but you get it in other sections whereby you have to simplify using special angle. You'll notice this as we cover other trick sections. So it is a very, very important section that you guys have to master. Okay, and I hope with these two ways you can remember how trig function works, right? On the screen right now, you will see this are all the special angles you have to memorize. Now, if you can memorize it as it is, that's wonderful. But if you can't, try as much as possible to remember using your two triangles to help you remember it or using the wheel. And I hope all this helps. Please, on your way out, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.